Howdy folks, we're here today to show you how to set up your tab trailer side tent from Pahake Wilderness. We've got Mike and Jason here who's going to show you the setup procedure. Basically what you want to do initially is pull everything out of the bag, locate your skirt, ground stakes, guy lines, main pole in the tent. And the first step is to insert the skirt into the lower keter as Mike is showing you here, starting on the rear of the trailer, slide it in towards the for, for, uh, slide it forward, and then Jason here will show you how it goes into the front end of the keter, sliding it all the way in, and that is step one, getting the skirt in place. The next step is you want to fold out the body, locate the keter edge and locate the front and the back of the tent. Once you've located that Keter edge, they're going to start at the back of the tent. This Mike showing you here, and you're going to slowly feed that Keter in all the way across the upper Keter on your trailer. Okay. Once you've got the tent fully inserted into the Keter on the side of your trailer, you want to go ahead and pull it out and locate the front edge and the main pole sleeve. Right there, Mike will show you where the pole sleeve starts. Okay, now you want to take your main pole and fold out the sections and one by one start feeding it into the pole sleeve across the front of your tent. You'll notice that as you're sliding it in it's taking a curve and the tent is starting to take shape. Just make sure you have it all the way through both ends completely as Mike and Jason are showing you here. Once you have the pole fully inserted into the pole sleeve, at each of the lower corners, you want to stick that pole tip into the grommet. Over here, Jason's going to do the same thing on his end. Now that you've got the main pole fully inserted and into the grommets at each of the lower corners, you want to pull out the two main straps. Normally, on uh, dirt or grass, you would use uh, ground stakes. In this particular case, we're just going to use some uh, weights to help hold the tent out and illustrate the proper setup. A quick note that these straps are also adjustable to allow you to set these uh, main guy lines out at different uh, distances, again, to accommodate different campsite sizes and varying ground conditions. Okay, once you've got the unit all set up and your front guy lines are pulled out nice and tight and staked down properly and you've got a nice pitch on the tent you can make some minor adjustments here in the front corners that uh, will allow you to uh, accommodate uh, uneven ground or varying ground conditions in your campsite uh, you can loosen and tighten those corner straps as needed to uh, get your fit and position of the tent just the way you want it after you've done that you want to make sure you stake down all four corners the, the front two corners here, as Mike is showing you, and then, most importantly, the back two corners here. Also adjustable straps. You want to let that strap out. You want to stake it down into the dirt and then adjust it up, as Mike is showing you, to, again, to get that perfect fit and to align the back of the tent with the side of the trailer to make attaching the skirt even easier. So once you have all four corners staked down, it's also important to uh, put a ground stake here on this front edge. You don't need to pound it all the way into the ground. It should be up off the ground just a little bit. The next thing you want to do after you've got all four corners of the tent staked down, including uh, the uh, ground strap in the front, is you want to begin attaching the skirt. You attach the two sides from outside the tent, like Mike is showing you here. The Velcro edges line up on the tent and the skirt. The perfect fit goes right together and now you've got a nice connection between the tent and the skirt there's a flap of fabric right here 
designed to cover the area of the trailer where there's no possible way to attach a tent and just prevent uh, any kind of uh, wind or uh, rain intrusion into the tent in this area. Uh, some people like to use Velcro or other means to kind of secure that, but uh, you should always have that pointed outwards. It will help seal off the tent. Now you can come around to the back of the trailer and do the same thing. Make sure that that back corner is staked down and then attach the skirt to the tent. It gives you a nice connection there as well. Due to varying trailer shapes and sizes, year models, trim packages and that sort of thing, there's always a slight variation in the fit on the rear here. So what we do is include a rear cover flap. It's adjustable. You can place it anywhere you want and you can put it on here as shown, as Mike is showing you here, to help complete the, the seal on the back of the tent. So once that's done and your tent is completely staked down and everything's in position and adjusted, you can proceed inside and finish connecting the skirt to the tent to complete the rest of the setup. You'll notice as you enter your tent that you've got two doors here, main outer door and a mesh inner door. The main outer door can just be rolled up, zipped up and rolled up out of the way, or you can extend it out as an awning. Mike's going to show you real quick how to just roll it up and get it out of the way. Now Mike's opening the mesh door here. This also can be just rolled up out of the way. If uh, you don't want to have it down, you're not worried about bugs, you can uh, roll it up as well. So Mike's going to roll this one up real quick too. Tie it up the same way with the tie backs. Now you've got both of your doors up and out of the way. And we'll step inside here and Mike's going to show you how to attach the uh, rest of the skirt to the to the tent body here. It's pretty straightforward. Everything lines right up and then just start at the front of the tent and follow the line of Velcro all the way back. Now the next, next thing you're going to want to do, once you've got the skirt and the tent body completely attached on the outside and on the inside, is you can fold this flap up over the wheel well, three little pieces of adhesive Velcro that you can attach to the wheel well to hold the, uh, the skirt up in place. And that completes the setup. Once everything's set up, you have a nice connection all the way around, a nice protected interior space. Last few little things we want to mention to make the setup really complete and to make sure that your weekend or your week of camping goes without a hitch. There's a couple of guy lines here at the top of the tent. You can take these and pull these out. Just to illustrate when you pull these out tight, those guy lines can come down and attach to where the main guy lines attach so you don't have multiple lines hanging everywhere but it will give you uh, additional support along the roof a little bit better wind resistance and they are adjustable guy lines and that can really make sure that the tent is set completely the way you want it one last thing we want to point out is the big side windows it can open up they're waterproof but when you open them up from the inside you get a lot of ventilation great visibility around camp And a great view of the great outdoors. So there you have it, folks. There's your tab trailer tent set up on cement. Better on grass or dirt, but if you use weights, you can definitely hold it in place like we're doing here. You've doubled the amount of living space inside your trailer. And you're ready to go camping. If you have any questions, you can always call us. 888-700-TENT. That's 888-700-TENT. 700-8368. Happy trails and have a good day.